So you repasted your PS4 Pro, and it's starting to sound like a vacuum cleaner again. I think I know why this is such a prevalent issue. What's happening is an effect called thermal pump out, and it's a result of it being a direct die on the PS4 Pro. A simple explanation for what thermal pump out is, is that the silicon chip and your copper heat plate expand at different thermal rates. So what happens is, over time, the copper expands more than the silicon and it overheating and cooling over and over and over again, it slowly squeezes out the thermal grease. This doesn't happen so much in normal uh, processors with the integrated heat spread or IHS because the expansion rates aren't so drastically different and you're not so concerned about having every single little millimeter of the die covered as you are with the direct die because having any of this uncovered is bad news bears and you can run you into your thermal issues which you can see on mine is already after repasting it not that long ago starting to show spots right here and you can also see the channels it lined up with right here which means there wasn't grease contacting at all in that area the reason why this happens so much and why it goes from so great to so bad is that a lot of people suggest using Noctua in NTH1. It's great paste, don't get me wrong. It's just what makes it great is that it's so thin. And because it's so thin, it's a lot more susceptible to thermal pump out, which is why you see so many people complaining about their PS4 Pro getting loud after repasting it a couple months later. What I'm going to do to remedy this in a more permanent way is... I'm going to use Carbonaut. It's made by Thermal Grizzly and it's basically a high performance thermal pad. So because it's a pad and not a grease, it's not going to be able to be pumped out and it should be a permanent solution. Uh, there's also uh, a similar pad made by IC Diamond. We're not necessarily promoting just Thermal Grizzly, but just it's, it's a bit of a niche product and it works quite well. There are also other thermal greases that are less susceptible to pump out because they are more viscous. Apparently, I guess Hydronaut by Thermal Grizzly is a thicker compound that's less susceptible to this. But it's one of those things where the pad's a one-and-done solution. And the main thing of the PS4 Pro is you're not counting like 2 or 3 degrees in extreme overclocking. As long as the thing's not loud, it's not bad. In the description, I'll leave a animation I found that really illustrates well what thermal pump out is and why it happens. And also a discussion between uh, Stephen Gamers, Nexus, and Andrew Bauer about thermal pump out and why it happens, especially with direct eye cooling. This is also something that people run into in the laptop space quite, quite often because it's the exact same situation. Direct eye silicon and copper. Expands at different rates. Squeezes out the silicon after heat, cool, heat, cool, heat, cool. I'm sure you guys get the idea. And if not, check the links down in the description for the other videos. Oh, and one last note, the um, the pads, because they're made of graphite, they are not just thermally conductive, they're also electrically conductive. So you want to be very careful that you cut the pad to the right size so that you cover the whole die. You, you want to make sure you cover every last millimeter of this die. However, you don't want it to be overhanging and come in contact with these or else you'll also run into bad issues. And not on me if that happens to you. Just be very careful. Cut the proper size, and if you're concerned at all, you can cover these with conformal coating. And there's also some more kind of janky options like um, nail polish uh, and stuff like that. I would use conformal coating would be what I'd recommend, but other people have gotten away with nail polish and gotten quite lucky with it. Thanks for watching.